So when we balance this equation, we have aluminum, chlorine gas, and aluminum chloride. You'll notice right away that it's a little complicated because we have an odd number here and an even number here. So let's look at how we might deal with that. First, I think I'm just going to write out the atoms on each side. And then I'm going to count the atoms up. One aluminum, two chlorines, and one aluminum, three chlorines. So how to deal with the odd number here? We have an odd and even number. The easiest thing to do is multiply this by two, because then we'd have even numbers. We could fix that. So I'm going to put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum chloride. And remember the two, it does go to everything. So three times two, that gives us six. One times two, that'll give us two. But that's going to be easy to fix because aluminum is by itself. We change the aluminum, nothing else changes. So let's just put a coefficient of two. One times two, that equals two. And then three times the two here, or two times three, that gives us six. And now everything's the same on both sides. This equation, it's balanced. So sometimes when you have an odd number, you might want to multiply that by two to get an even number. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.